What is going on, lady boys? We're back. We just got back from Vegas. Uh, we got back yesterday, and I'll tell you what, it was a trip. A bunch of stuff happened. We got the uh, razor behind me right here. On the way up, the uh, roof decided to uh, go for a ride itself, blew off on the freeway. And so then I was like, oh, that's a bummer. And then the truck ends up breaking down right as we pulled up to Dino Jet. That was the whole goal is to get to Dino Jet. We did, we, we managed to get there and um, I'm gonna show you some clips. It was real loud in there. So it was super hard to actually uh, get like to talk there and everything. So we did a little intro there, but I don't know how that came out. But basically we put the old uh, 2020 Pro XP 1000 Turbo on the dyno and uh, we got the uh, stock dyno tune chart and the after we put the uh, power vision on. It's a tuner they make, anyone can buy it. You pop it on, it's a whole plug and play system. So as soon as you plug that thing in, we instantly got 20 horsepower, which is wild just for something you plug in, program yourself at home. It was a pretty rad setup. And then after that, we ended up doing their whole uh, clutch kit. So they got aftermarket springs. We put that in and uh, I'll show you guys the dyno chart. You guys will see the videos. It was super fun hanging out with those guys. Trevor over there, Dino Jet, he was in the car as we were doing the pulls and stuff. I wanted to hop in there and do a dyno pull for you guys, but we weren't able to make it happen this time. But I'm gonna clip to those videos in just two seconds. You guys can check that out. Then after that, we got some videos of ripping it after. Sorry, it's a little windy up here. We got a massive fire going on right now. That's in Cherry Valley. So Big Bear would be right behind that smoke right there. And then it's like Cherry Valley and then Beaumont. So we've been watching this thing go and it is out of control right now. So hopefully everyone over there is safe. I know they got like 30 minutes to eva evacuate their houses, which is not a lot of time at all. But um, I want to talk to you guys about the uh, wheels and tires on this thing. I just got these on also. These are method wheels with the tensor tires on them. And so far they're bad. This is the first ride I really got with them. I haven't had much time. I'm gonna be doing a ride up video on that also. So you guys will be able to check that out. If you guys are in the market for wheels and tires, um, these are the ones right here. They are sick. And so I have a code actually, if you guys are looking for wheels and tires for your truck, Jeep, Razor, they got it all. You just use Joey Mac, I'll put it up right here, and it's 20% off. So, and the best part is, these things will come mounted, ready to throw on too. So no more dealing with the B-locks, trying to mount them yourself, you could buy them and they just come to your door, or you go pick them up, completely mounted. So use Joey Mac for the code for that for 20% off. And let's start ripping this thing. We'll get into the Dino Jet stuff in Vegas. Dana was out there also, whole lot of fun. Uh, let's roll the clip. What do you think, Dana? A serious gig over here. A serious deal. You got the razor on here? Hang on. What is going on, lady boys? We're up here at Dino Jet in Las Vegas. What are you thinking, Dana? What is going on? Well, being the lead developer at Dino Jet, I... <laughs> <laughs> Dana's, Dana's gonna actually be doing the tuning, so the thing, yeah. everyone's gotta stand back, get out of the building. <laughs> I told him he didn't have to strap it down, but he did it anyhow. <laughs> no straps needed. 
So what we got going on is we drove all the way up. On, in the process of driving up, I lost my roof on the freeway, the I-15. So that's in someone's windshield. I'm sorry about that. But uh, then the truck ended up breaking down, about caught on fire. So we had a long drive up here. This is a long journey. So we're going to tune this thing up. We're going to run it stock, see what kind of horsepower she's putting down. And then uh, we're going to put the power vision on and show you guys exactly what this thing's doing. So we're predicting close to 20 horsepower, wheel horsepower, um, with just the tuner. So we're super pumped. We're gonna check this out. I'll show you guys around a little bit. So over here, they make dynos and everything too. So they're dynoing in here. This place is sick. They got a bunch of these dynos. Got some guys working on R6 right here. All right guys, we're gonna be doing the first pull stock right here. We're gonna see what it comes back with. guys so we did the first pull it's showing 168 we're having a little bit of belt slippage though 68 was the best pull so we got 168 165 and what 166 right there is yeah. that right yeah. does that show the speed too or max speeds 83 on that thing that's moving that's, that's off the, the drum that's off the drum yeah All right, guys, so he's just showing us on mine. Comes up, goes across, and then it's supposed to kind of shoot off right there, he was saying, and it starts to die down right here. So he's gonna show us one of theirs. That's probably just, he said it's just the clutching or the belt slipping. I've been driving with the same belt for a while now, so I wouldn't doubt if the belt's starting to go. Alright guys, so we're going to show you, we did a little bit of fine tuning and stuff and uh, the clutch are worn out on this car from when I got it, but um, this is the first stock run right here, best one we got was 165 and the best one after the tune and everything was uh, 184, so it's a big difference there, all the way through the whole thing right there. Yeah, once we do the clutches too, because the clutches are a big part of it and they're all worn out, so once we do that it'll be even better than that, huh? Yeah. It's not bad, 184 for us. Uh... All right, guys, Trevor just explaining to me that, so when you get your boost, we're running, how much boost are we running right now? Right now, the tune are running uh, 21 pounds. So we're running 21 pounds, but he was explaining to get that 21 pounds is all these numbers right here. Can you explain that a little bit? So what it is, this is just uh, pretty much the ECM, the number that the ECM's uh, calculating. Uh-huh. We're pretty much going in there using some uh, some math that's already in our system uh -huh. to calculate these numbers to make that boost number on the uh, device. 
<laughs> that is insane. So there's a lot of math that's already built into our tuning software. Yeah. Kind of helps us out, but uh, <laughs> it's definitely an eye opener when you get into these ECMs and you can someone who's never seen it before. Yeah. Kind of look at all this and it kind of blows your mind. So that is crazy. Right. You never even think all that goes <laughs> into just 21 pounds of boost. That's insane. <laughs> 